Okay. Okay, what do you think? Shall we? Yay. Okay, let's get going. Chin up and down. We are not using our weights today. We are celebrating the start of daylight saving time with a bonus flexible Friday. So we're doing all flexibility, range of motion. It's not Friday, it's a bonus. That's what makes it a bonus. And, and we're really flexible. So, so if we wanna have Friday on Monday, we will. <laughs> Nice. So now I'm looking left and right. It's all just in a name. It's all just in a name. Exactly. So we're going to work on flexibility, range of motion, stretching. We're not going to tax ourselves too much because our bodies are busy adjusting to the time change. And we're just gonna help it along. It is good to move. And it's also really good to get outside in the morning daylight. So if you get a chance, poke your head out the window today early. So sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna tilt ear to shoulder and then roll chin to chest till the ear comes over to the shoulder on the other side and back. Just rolling side to side, nice and gently. And again, looking for the path that makes the least noise, which is not to say it's silent. <laughs> no, I don't think I have one. You can hear it clear over there. We can, <laughs> yes, I can hear you all crunching. Clear over here. <laughs> Very nice. That's the beautiful thing about a flexible Friday is that we can kind of take our time a little bit, not rush quite so much. Here comes Marjorie. I'm gonna let her in. Good, good, good. Marjorie, I'm gonna keep you on mute. We are recording again today. So sitting up nice and tall, I'm gonna just roll the shoulders a couple of times. Draw the shoulders up into the ears and pull them back and down. There we go. So as you lower your shoulders down, just relax, exhale, beautiful. Nice, now I'm gonna point my thumbs to the front and reach one arm at a time forward and up to wherever the shoulder goes. So again, take your time, stop when you feel some resistance back up and then maybe the next time it goes a little farther. Beautiful, let's reach both arms out in front of the shoulders, palms out, and I'm reaching from the heel of the hand. So reach out a little bit, straighten the elbows, get a little tension in the arms, and then gently circle. Just kind of right in front of your shoulders. And then reverse direction on your circles. And it doesn't matter if you're coming into the middle or if you're doing both one way and both the other, it just matters that you're circling. And then relax, shake your arms if you need it. Let's, uh, we're a little bit tight in the room today. So everybody shimmy a little bit to your left. 
And now reach your arms out to the sides, just about shoulder high or a little lower and circle again. I'm reaching through the heel of the hand. And just a small controlled circle. We just want you to feel your shoulder circling in the socket. And reverse direction. Beautiful, lower your arms, relax, give them a shake and come back around to the front. That looks really good. All right, elbows up like cactus arms. And let's do elbows together in front and shoulder blades pinch together in back. Go ahead and get a good stretch in both directions. Take some nice deep breaths. Beautiful, stay open here and let's come up to the fingers. So make a soft fist and then open the fingers as wide as you can, really stretch them out and then soft fist and stretch them out. Good, let's do a couple more like that. Soft fist, big open and soft fist, big open, beautiful. I'm gonna take my elbows right where they are Pull them back just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna reach up and down, trying to keep my elbows back a little bit. And I'm just gonna gently slide them up and down in whatever range of motion feels good. But keeping that little bit of tension between the shoulder blades and back. Good, I bet your shoulders are tired, mine too. Relax and do just a couple of easy shoulder rolls and maybe a good wiggle. Excellent, that wiggle helps a lot, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Sit up nice and tall, belly button in a little bit, shoulders back, we're gonna do a gentle side bend. Just testing the waters first to see how your spine feels. And if it'll let you go, a little deeper, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. Good, then let's take the spine front to back in a cat-cow. So hands on your knees. I'm gonna tuck my tail between my legs, point the belly button up at the nose and arch the back. And then sit up nice and tall, point the belly button down at the toes and arch up and out, lengthening the spine. So think about your spine like a slinky. You want it stretched out a little bit before you do the bend one way and the other way. Beautiful, we went side to side, front to back. Let's take the spine in a little rotation next. So elbows, or arms crossed, elbows lifted. Nice tall spine. And then we're gonna just gently rotate one direction and the other. And again, you're just gonna stop when you hit that resistance. When your muscles say that's far enough, it probably is. And maybe the next time you come around, you'll go a little bit farther, but maybe not. But hopefully you feel things loosening up and warming up each repetition just a little bit more.
Beautiful, that should do. Let's take, uh, let's do a few more stretches for our shoulders. So I'm gonna reach one arm straight out in front of its shoulder and then pull it across the chest in front of the body. I'm gonna use the other hand on the elbow or the arm to draw this straight arm in close against the chest and get a stretch on the outside of the shoulder. And I'm gonna pause for a couple of deep breaths here. As I exhale, I'm gonna to try to relax the shoulder down out of the ear. And I'm gonna to try to let go of any tension I feel in that joint. Beautiful, release that and try the other arm. Reach straight out in front and then pull it across your body. Use the other hand to hug it in a little bit closer. If that feels good, and big inhale, and as you exhale, relax. Try to lower the shoulder away from its ear. And just give that a second to stretch out and open up. And then let that go. And then let's stretch the front of the shoulder, which we do by reaching behind our back. So I'm gonna reach behind my back. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see better. I'm gonna put my knuckles on my back, but below my belt, right? So below the waist, I'm gonna make sure that my shoulder is pulled back pretty far. I'm sitting up nice and tall. And then I'm just gonna to try to lift the hand away from the back. It doesn't go very far. And, and it meets some resistance, and that's when I just stop and relax it back. So pull away and let it come back. Pull away till you feel a stretch in the front of that shoulder and let it come back. And obviously, if you have any shoulder injuries or limitations, you may be happy just to get your hand behind your back, and that is okay. Doesn't have to move from there. Beautiful, I'm gonna try the other side. So arm behind the back, knuckles touch below the waist, shoulder pulls back, and then we lift the hand straight away from the back till we feel a stretch in the front of the shoulder. You may notice that your dominant side is much tighter than the other. That's pretty normal. Beautiful. Good, you, yeah, you, it's, it's not unusual at all for one side to cooperate and one side to say, no, thank you. <laughs> That's good, that is enough of that. All right, let's come down to the feet and let's warm up the ankles a little bit. So I've got my feet pushed out ahead of my knees and I'm just gonna pick up the, ankle, or pick up the toes a little bit, loosen up the ankles and the calves. And then slide the heels under the knees a little bit. And that'll give us room to pick up the heels and open up the front of the ankles. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna put feet together and I've got my feet right underneath my knees. I'm gonna to swing toes out, put heels together, and then heels out, and then heels in and toes in. Toes out, heels out, heels in, toes in. Out and out, in and in. Do this as slowly as you like. I feel all sorts of interesting stuff in the ankles and the calves as I do it. And sometimes it's fun just to feel it. Enjoy the stretch you get in that position. Excellent, that ought to do. I think we still wanna wiggle the ankles a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my knee and just circle. So as I'm holding my knee, that limits my ability to swing the whole leg, right? I want the motion to come from right down there at the ankle joint, even if it's only a little bit of motion. 
Let's get what we can out of that joint. And then reverse direction, circle the other way. And again, you'll feel those muscles all the way up your calf and, and even you'll feel them under, under, moving under your fingers as you're holding your legs. Switch sides, sit up tall while you're doing it, circle one way at the ankle. That's a noisy one today. And then switch directions. Beautiful. All right, sit up tall. We're going to open up the knee joint by just straightening and bending. So nice and easy to begin with. Just loosen up the back of the leg, contract the front of the leg. In fact, we'll treat this as just, just a loosen up move today. We won't put on the lead boots. Just get that knee to loosen up a little bit and then other leg. Good, that feels pretty good. And now we're gonna loosen up the hips by swinging one leg out to the side, back to the center. Just out and back. However far your hip wants to go is just fine. Excellent. And let's switch legs. Beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna turn my chair a little bit so that I'm straddling the corner of it because I'm too short to straddle the whole chair. If you're big enough to straddle your whole chair, go for it. But I wanna be sitting so that I have my knees pointed out to the sides and my toes pointed out to the sides. How far out to the sides is gonna be determined by your flexibility at your hips. So don't worry if your feet don't point straight out to the sides, just make sure your knees and your toes are pointing the same direction. So no toes forward and knees out or vice versa. But do sit up nice and tall and I'm gonna take my knuckles, put them on the insides of my knees. And I'm, I would not say I'm pushing my knees back, but I'm holding so that I have just a bit of a stretch on the inside of the thighs. And it is not painful, but just ever so slightly uncomfortable because it's a stretch. But I'm lifting up tall through my spine. Beautiful. And just holding that position for a second. Maybe take a nice deep breath, especially if it's uncomfortable. Then I'm gonna take one arm and just start to slide it down the leg and let the other arm come up as a counterbalance. And you're just gonna slide as far down as all the parts and pieces wanna go. So it might be your side that stops you, your thigh that stops you, your arm and shoulder, wherever your limit is, that's where you pause. Again, nice deep breath. And then back up into the center. Start again with both knuckles on the knees, tall through your spine, and then we'll slide the other way. One arm goes down the leg, the other arm comes up to counterbalance. I'm trying to stay tall through the spine so that the rotation doesn't bother it. And I'm taking a deep breath at the holding place. Very nice, come back up to upright. 
Excellent. And I'm gonna come back around to the front of my chair and let's come into a hamstring stretch next. So one leg out straight in front of you. You're perched on the edge of your chair again. Lift it up nice and tall through your spine. And then I'm, I'm gonna try to keep that nice long line from head to tail. So I'm not gonna let my head and my shoulders collapse. I'm gonna keep it tall and just hinge from the hip. So I like to pretend that I'm reaching my chin toward my toes. And again, I'm gonna pause as soon as I feel that resistance at the back of the leg. So go into it slowly. So you notice where it stops you. And then take a deep breath. And as you exhale, maybe just relax a little bit more. And maybe you can sink a little deeper into the stretch then. You may not. But just let the back of the leg lengthen. And then come on back up. And remember, if you get deep enough into a stretch that you get that really tense, tight, uncomfortable feeling, and it doesn't release after a few seconds, back up, right? It's always, it's always better to back up to the point where you can relax than it is to push as far as you can go. So tall through your spine, hinge forward from the hip, slowly enough that you can feel just the first bit of resistance and that's where you wanna relax. And then maybe on an exhale, get a little bit more stretch out of it. Beautiful, come on back up, very nice. Let's see, let's try this. I think everybody's got good shoes for this. I'm gonna put both feet out in front of me. You wanna dig your heels into the floor a little bit so that you don't slide because you're sitting right on the edge of the chair and we're gonna start to lean forward in a second. So make sure you've got your heels dug in. I'm gonna sweep my arms up overhead as I take a big inhale. I'm gonna reach from my head and my hands as I start to fold forward. I'm gonna do this slowly because you'll feel the back of your legs will tell you to stop at some point. That's when I'm gonna lower my hands, let them rest wherever they fall on my legs, and then maybe start to allow the spine to round forward. Slowly again, because you've got a lot of tension on the back side of your body. So don't go too far. Take a deep breath. And then before you try to come up, really lace up your corset, suck in tight on your belly button, use your hands for support and come on back up. Excellent. That gets you stretched from your heels all the way up the backside towards your head. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll feel taller, which I know you wanted. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I'm going into the hip stretch next, one foot resting up on top of the opposite knee or across the ankle with the knee turned out again, wherever the hip will let it go. So I'm gonna jiggle a little bit to loosen up, get nice and tall on the edge of my seat. If that is uncomfortably tight, you'll just lean back a little bit till it feels better. If you feel like you need more stretch, you'll start to fold forward over your lap. Again, slowly, so you give those muscles time to lengthen and respond and not seize up. The stretching goes much easier if you sneak up on it a little bit. If you try to just barrel your way through, the muscles will stop you. But if you sneak up on them, sometimes they'll give you a nice, easy stretch. Beautiful, come back up, untangle and try the other leg. 
Don't be surprised if one hip feels completely different from the other. And again, either lean back to ease out or fold forward for a little more stretch. And just take it easy. Beautiful, come back up, untangle your legs, and let's reach one hand across your lap to the outside of the opposite knee. Lift up tall through your spine, and then just keep on turning. So you had to turn to reach your knee and just keep going. You can reach the back of the chair behind you, but lift up tall through your spine, and try to look over that back shoulder. And I'm going to hold there for a second as I inhale, I'm going to grow tall. As I exhale, I'm going to see if there's just a smidge more rotation to be found. And then carefully unwind back to the front. You want to not just let go because you've loaded up a spring with a lot of energy there. So come back with control and then let's try that to the other side. So reach across to the opposite knee, lift up tall, and then start rotating around to look over your shoulder. Once you hit what feels like your end point, take a big inhale and grow tall. And then as you exhale, hold the tall, but see if you can rotate just a smidge more. and then unwind carefully back to the front. Excellent. Let's do just a little bit of cat-cow to make sure we got everything straightened back out after the two twists. Beautiful, and that makes me want another stretch across the front of the shoulders. So I'm gonna sit right on the front of my chair. I'm gonna turn my hands backwards. So my fingers are pointed behind me and I'm gonna rest them on the back edge of my chair. So I've got them on the seat behind me, but the fingers point to the back. And I don't have a lot of weight on my hands, just a little bit, but I'm gonna arch up and out and I'm pulling my shoulders back so that I'm opening across the front of the shoulders and the neck. And it's just the tiniest bit uncomfortable. So I'm going to take a deep breath. And then relax back and come back to upright and maybe give everything a shake. Excellent, and then let's do my favorite stretch of all time. Sit on the front of your chair, wide stance with your feet, reach for the ceiling, reach with your head too, take a nice big side bend, reach out as you bend to the side, reach out, Ugh. do this as slowly as you like. Beautiful, then tall once again in the center, belly button sucks in, take a big swan dive forward, reach out through your head. When you go as far as your hips will let you go, go ahead and let your back relax down. You can have your hands all the way down to the floor or you might have your hands on your knees, wherever you need to feel supported, but to let your low back stretch out and open up. A nice deep breath feels good here. And then before you come up, lace up your corset, suck in tight on your belly button, hands on your knees, and all the way back up. Beautiful. Good, good, good. You did it. You survived another one. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you should feel very stretched. That is it.